The avoirdupois system is a system of weights based on a pound of 16 ounces. It is the everyday system of weight used in the United States and is still used to varying degrees in everyday life in the United Kingdom, Canada, and some other former British colonies despite the official adoption of the metric system. An alternative system of mass, the Troy system, is generally used for precious materials. The modern definition of the avoirdupois pound is exactly 0.45359237 a kilograms. Etymology the word avoirdupois is from Anglo-Norman French avoirdupai, literally goods of weight. This term originally referred to a class of merchandise, avoirdupai, goods of weight, things that were sold in bulk and were weighed on large steel yards or balances. Only later did it become identified with a particular system of units used to weigh such merchandise. The orthography of the day has left many variants of the term, such as habitifoi and habitapis. History there are two major hypotheses regarding the origins of the avoirdupois system. The older hypothesis is that it originated in France. A newer hypothesis is that it is based on the weight system of Florence. The avoirdupois weight system is thought to have come into use in England circa 1300. It was originally used for weighing wool. In the early 14th century several other specialized weight systems were used including the weight system of the Hanseatic League with a 16-ounce pound of 7,200 grains and an 8-ounce mark. However, the main weight system, used for coinage and for everyday use, was based on the 12-ounce Tau pound of 5,400 grains. From the 14th century until late 16th century, the avoirdupois pound was also known as the wool pound or the avoirdupois wool pound. The earliest known version of the avoirdupois weight system had the following units, a pound of 69.92 grains, a stone of 14 pounds, a wool sack of 26 stone, an ounce of 1 pound and 16 pound, and finally, the ounce was divided into 16 parts. The earliest known occurrence of the word avoirdupois in England is from a document entitled Tractatus de Ponderibus A Menseris or Treatise on Weights and Measures. This document is listed in early statute books under the heading 31 Edward I dated February 2, 1303. More recent statute books listed under statutes of uncertain date. Scholars nowadays believe that it was probably written between 1266 and 1303. Initially a royal memorandum, it eventually took on the force of law and was recognized as a statute by King Henry VIII and Queen Elizabeth I. It was repealed by the Weights and Measures Act of 1824. In the Tractatus, the word avoirdupois refers not to a weight system, but to a class of goods, specifically, heavy goods sold by weight, as opposed to goods sold by volume, by count, or by some other method. Since it is written in Anglo-Norman French, it is not accounted the first occurrence of the word in the English language. Three major developments occurred during the reign of Edward III. First, a statute known as 14.0 Edward III. St. 1. Cap 12 bushels and weights shall be made and sent into every country. Original, and accord qui des or en avant un measure and un pois soit parmi tout engelter and qui le tresser a face fair certains a standards de bustle de gaul and de pois darius and lay face mander en chiscun county par la utile standards ni sont par avances hors manders, English translation, 4. It is assented and accorded that from henceforth one measure and one weight shall be throughout the realm of England, and that the treasurer cause to be made certain standards of bushels gallons of weights of ansel, and send the same in to every county where such standards be not sent before this time. The second major development is the Statute 25.0 Edward III. St. 5. Cap 9. The ansel weight shall be put out, and weighing shall be by equal balance. Original. Qui le zarc de l'ine ni pois qui vint and cis peres and scumper pois cartors livre, English translation, so that the sack of wool weigh no more but xxvi. Stones, and every stone to weigh ziv. L. The third development is a set of 14th century bronze weights at the Westgate Museum in Winchester, England. The weights are in denominations of £7, £14, 56 pounds and 91 pounds. The 91 pound weight is thought to have been commissioned by Edward III in conjunction with the Statute of 1350, 
while the other weights are thought to have been commissioned in conjunction with the statutes of 1340. The 56-pound weight was used as a reference standard as late as 1588. A statute of Henry VIII made avid de Poy's weights mandatory. In 1588 Queen Elizabeth increased the weight of the avid de Poy's pound to 7,000 grains and added the troy grain to the avid de Poy's weight system. Prior to 1588, the part was the smallest unit in the avid de Poy's weight system. In the 18th century, the part was renamed Dram. Original forms, these are the units in their original Anglo-Norman French forms, post-Elizabethan, in the United Kingdom, 14 avoirdupois pounds equals one stone. The quarter, hundred weight, and ton equal respectively, 28 lb, 112 lb, and 2240 lb in order for masses to be easily converted between them and stones. The following are the units in the British or Imperial version of the Avidapoise system. Note the plural form of the unit stone is either stone or stones, but stone is most frequently used. American customary system. The 13 British colonies in North America used the Avidapoise system. But they continued to use the British system as it was, without the evolution that was occurring in Britain in the use of the stone unit. In 1824 there was landmark new weights and measures legislation in the United Kingdom that the United States did not adopt. In the United States, quarters, hundred weights, and tons remained defined as 25, 100, and 2000 lb respectively. The quarter is now virtually unused, as is the hundred weight outside of agriculture and commodities. If disambiguation is required. Then they are referred to as the smallest short units in the United States, as opposed to the larger British long units. Grains are used worldwide for measuring gunpowder and smokeless powder charges. Historically, the dram has also been used worldwide for measuring gunpowder charges, for measuring powder charges for shotguns and large black powder rifles. Internationalization In the Avidapoise system, all units are multiples or fractions of the pound which is now defined as 0 0.4535923237 a kg exactly in most of the English-speaking world since the implementation of the International Yard and Pound Agreement of 1959. Due to the ambiguous meanings of weight as referring to both mass and force, it is sometimes erroneously asserted that the pound is only a unit of force. However, as defined above the pound is a unit of mass, which agrees with common usage. Also see pound force, poundal and pound mass. See also, apothecary system, units of measurement in France, imperial units, troy weight, United States customary units, references. External links, A bronze Edward III standard weight of 14 pounds, A bronze Edward III standard weight of 91 pounds.